We're at the town ground where Hina have just beat Shawbury United 3-2. Two goals from Elliot Reeves and a goal from Nathan Benger. With me I've got manager Glenn Clarence and both assistants Steve Hamilton and Steve Huntington. Glenn, I know uh, I mentioned it last week, I thought we were, we were due ready giving someone a tank in. Half time we're three to the good, looking confident, looking strong. <clears throat> Second half's a different story. As a manager, what? how can you explain that? I can't, Tony. I fully expected the same at half time. I thought we were good in the first half, probably could have been better, could have, could have and should have, should have scored a few more goals. Um, second half, the polar opposite, I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, you know me, I love a 3 2. <laughs> it's all about getting three points, Tony, that's, that's the main thing. Yes, we set better standards than that second half. Um, God knows how we've ended up hanging on, but three points. Well. Okay, Hamo, we've, uh, yeah, first half obviously is great. We've got the chances, I think out of about eight chances we had, we've took three of them, we've took three, three well as well. Obviously, we've, we've had a penalty in the second half that their keepers got down really well to stop as well. So it could have been a different result even further. But player performances today as a whole, <coughs> was it again, like Glenn said, polar opposites, one half to the other? Yeah, well, listen, we were 3-0 up, and yes, we had done well, but we just thought there were one or two things that we could put into place that, that we could do a little bit better uh, at half-time. So we spoke to the players about, uh, about that. Listen, we've, we've got three points. That is all that matters. Um, but it doesn't stop as a management team. You're wanting to go out there second half and go, right, we race on from here. You know, we get another three or four goals if we can. If only football was that easy. It's yeah. not. But, um, yeah, there were some different uh, performances um, all over the field today, but... Yeah, we've won a game of football, we've got three points, we've got to be happy with it, but um, we're, we're not. We, we, you know, we thought we could do our goal difference without being, having any disrespect to Shawbury. We thought we could get our goal difference uh, a little bit better today. It wasn't to be, and then you find yourself in the last five or ten minutes just thinking to yourself, I hope we can hang on here. Yeah. There's only 11 of them out on the pitch at any one time can, can stop things happening uh, like that. And uh, Well, listen, we've come out on top today, we've won a game of football, so we'll, uh, we'll be happy this weekend. Brilliant. Okay, Steve, obviously uh, results in the week. Shawbury beat Long Eaton 5 1 midweek. Obviously, a great result for them, and they obviously have come into this today confident, knowing that they can do bits against us. Now, I think they got both of their goals when they were down to 10, probably. Is, is that the heart and desire that will keep them mid table? We'll probably keep them above. What are you asking me about Shawbury for, Tony? I've got nothing to do with Shawbury. I'm not interested in Shawbury. Don't care what the result was midweek. Don't care about their team spirit or anything else. If you want me to ask me questions about Hina, I'll answer about Hina. Excellent. That heart and desire, when are we going to see it? Ha <laughs>
downbeat, we've won the game, but we, yeah. we've set better standards and, and the good thing is that the kids are coming in and doing a job and playing well. Um, long may that continue and some of the injuries are coming back, mm. but again, I don't want to dwell on today. If I'm honest, I want to forget about it. Just chalk three, three points on the board and think about Wolf Indians next Saturday. We'll be training midweek, um, working on a lot, of th lot of things that have happened in the second half today and hopefully get a smile on the face. But it's about climbing this table. We've got games in hand and we need to win them. Simple as that. We won today. Uh, again, I'll take a 3 2. But I'd like a 3 0 or a 4 0 or a 5 0, which today should have been. Mm. Most important thing is the points, not the goals. Brilliant. Steve, again, um, I think we've seen great discipline from the team today in the whole 90 minutes. Some referees in this league, we, we've seen them, they're, they're quick to issue cards rather than talk to players and try and keep on top. The players have reacted in a great way against that today, where they've known that they can get on and play some football. Yeah. Now, again, we're looking forward to another probably 30-odd games in this season. Mm. We're, we're starting to get a good, a good mentality regarding discipline, where players are looking after each other. Is that yeah. another positive again that we can be Massive, massive, happy with? massive positive. Um, and, you know, it was quite difficult out there today for them to keep their heads at times and a um, little bit of needle going on off the ball, a few bits and pieces here and there. So, yeah. Brilliant. Um, you know, we've talked about that. We've talked about keeping our discipline. I'm not going to get involved in the referees debate. I've, you know, I think we've talked a lot about that. Uh, so sometimes it is difficult to to not get yellow cards occasionally and stuff. But I thought the lads handled themselves really well today, um, as they should do. And as as we, you know, we need them to. With 30 odd games to go, you don't want suspension. So uh, another another positive, um, as well as the the winning result. So good day, really. All right, brilliant. All right, Cheers. thanks for your time, guys. All right, cheers, cheers Johnny. Time.